Welcome to the warm-up. We are in Finley to chat with Finley head coach Mark Ritzler. This edition of the warm-up brought to you by Blanchard Valley Health Systems. Mark, you're in season number nine here at Finley. How are things going this summer into the preseason? Well, we're off to a good start. Uh, our numbers are good. We're up in the uh, low 80s. That's the most kids we've had in a couple of years. Uh, we've got some kids back that had some Friday night experience. And, uh, you know, so far so good. No major injuries, nothing like that. So, so far so good. Last year, looking back on 2013, a bit of a rebuilding season, 2-8, mm -hmm. and eight, but a lot of young guys on the roster. What positives and can you take from last season, and, and what can you build upon? Well, we certainly knew going into last season we lost a great group of seniors, and uh, with the league that we're in, you know, there's no, there's no breaks. Our non-league schedule with Anthony Wayne and Grove City and Sylvania South U is very tough, and we knew we were going to take some lumps. And what we, what we were hoping and what we didn't have happen for us early on last season you know, the ball just didn't bounce our way. We didn't get an early season victory that would give some confidence to some young kids, and you know, that kind of thing's kind of spiraled the wrong way. But the good thing is now that we've got a lot of kids, especially on the offensive side, that went through last season. Uh, we're way ahead of where we normally are at this time as far as our installations on offense and screens and all that type of stuff. We're way ahead, and that's because we've got our quarterback back. Most of our starting receivers are back. Our tailback is back, and we've got two offensive linemen that are back as well. So we feel pretty good about where we're at right now offensively. That's the benefit of having young kids out there last year. Hopefully that pays off for us this year. Who are some guys uh, that you've seen that are really improved over the course of last season into camp here? Well, I'll say some guys that certainly have worked very hard and are, you know, doing the things that we need them to do. Brandon Meal, our quarterback, has worked his tail off this summer. Uh, big kid, throwing the ball very well. Uh, he's doing a good job of directing our offense. Our receivers that are back, Joey Hammond and Grant Nicewander, are two seniors in Dakota Fay. Uh, you know, just catching the ball right now. They're you know, they're making good adjustments on the wrong. They're reading their defenses correctly. Uh, and our tailback, Emmanuel Mogalu, not the biggest kid in the world, but very quick. And he's been impressive out in space. He's a he's a tough one-on-one -on -one matchup for a tackler, for a defensive back. And you know, so far, so good. And uh, you know, we like what we see out of those guys. In the track, always competitive, especially on the gridiron. Mm -hmm. uh, who are some of the opponents you're looking to uh, looking forward to taking on this season? Well, you know, obviously Toledo Central Catholic and Toledo Whitmer have been the top dogs all throughout the history of our track, our short history of the track. And I think, you know, going into this season, they were voted both uh, as tied number one uh, vote getter. And uh, those are the two teams right now I think would be favored towards the top. But you look at last year, Toledo St. Francis made some great strides, made the playoffs. Fremont Ross uh, made has a new coach now and, and has a lot of good young athletes back. Lima Senior with Coach Fell did a great job, made some big improvements there. And they've got a lot of great athletes back. And uh, so I think, you know, week in, week out, you have to be ready to play. That's the one thing. If you've got some young kids, uh, you know, if you've got a young group out there in the track, you, you, there's no chance of kind of gradually working your way into it. You've got to be ready for the grind week four once you hit league play. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the good thing about our league is you've, it, it's going to bring the best out of you one way or another. You can see Finley take on Lima Senior on WOSN October 3rd. Coach, what about the offense? You talked about some of the guys. What can we expect offensively? Similar schemes as to last year, no major changes? Well, we're a spread team, and I think we'll actually be a little bit more five wide than we've been in the past. Um, our offensive coordinator, Matt Best, comes to us from Kenton, and Kenton, as you may know, they throw the ball all around the place. Uh, we work very hard on our tempo. Um, we're trying to uh, get up to the line of scrimmage, keep that constant pressure on the defensive front, the defensive lineman. And we want them down in stance. We want them running from sideline to sideline. Um, again, I think our quarterback's done a good job of spreading the ball around. We're taking advantage of all of our kids that, at the, you know, some are more downfield passing type guys, a, lot, a little more speed, and some are, are uh, you know, more of a tight end type that can work underneath. But he's done a good job of spreading the ball around, and that's what we have to do on offense. Last year also we struggled running the ball. I think we're going to see much better offensive line play. And, uh, you know, after hopefully tiring out a little bit of, you know, tiring out those defensive line, getting chased and sideline to sideline is to be able to pop a few things in between the tackles as well. Pace of play is such an important part of Division One football. How do you instill that in practice and get guys ready for games? Well, it's amazing what we've done so far. I mean, it is, it is fast paced and it's a conditioner as well for, for, for our team as well. But uh, it also trains your defense. Boy, you got to be up and ready to go. Uh, you know, our defense is a little bit behind installation-wise because we do have some new kids over there. 
but going against that every day, you're going to kind of learn under fire. But uh, they do a pretty good job. They get up. Our offense gets up. We try to get the ball snapped within eight seconds of the of the whistle being being blown. And uh, you know, a lot of signals, you know, you know, hand signals, but also a lot of numbers and things like that being thrown out there for the linemen. And so far, so good. They've done a good job. And I think they're having fun with it. You know, I, I reckon a little bit to like a uh, you know fast break basketball team. You know, kids like to practice that. They like to be involved with it. It's fun, you know, huddling up in between each play. You know, we do it every once in a while just to, you know, give our defense a break. And, right. and the, when, when that happens, you know, it just fe it feels like we're just walking in sand. It just it's, we're so used to now going, going, going. And I think, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, you got to get first downs because if you don't get first downs, you're putting your defense in a heck of a bind. But if you can get first downs and keep that ball moving and, and uh, you know, get, get some, gain some field position, you know, it, it's certainly a benefit for the offense. And Mark, you mentioned the signals and a bunch of different numbers being thrown out. Mm -hmm. How important was it to have last year, even though, you know, you had some new guys and they were just gaining their experience mm -hmm. and now, Having gone through that, they should be right in form this year, right? Right, right. And you know, you really almost can you can pick up where you leave off. You know, uh, changes of in a high school football this year, as far as what you can do in the off season, you can work with groups of four kids and and do some things and have some things already installed even before you get to uh, uh, you know even before you get to two a days. And with our ten coaching days in the summer, and when you're a spread team, and you've got days that you can go out and do seven on sevens, where you can have most of your passing game and all of those things with the hand signals and numbers and so forth really already in before we even get started. Looks good over here at Finley and training camp. About a week in, time for a break on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health Systems. When we return, Mark Kuntz will join us and he'll chat with some of the Trojan players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. I'm Mark Kuntz, joined now by a pair of the senior defensemen for the Finley Trojans. We've got Desmond Lino, the middle linebacker, and Nick Kiffmeyer down on the end. And Desmond, a lot of kids out for foot, football for Finley. Got to like the, the numbers you see on the sidelines right now. Oh, definitely, for sure. There's a lot of kids coming out, which means more kids are just getting reps, and it just really helps having more kids out here. Nick, coach talked a little bit about how with the changes in the summer, you guys were able to get a little bit more accomplished this summer than in years past. Yeah, uh, we used to do uh, liftings three days a week, and uh, this year we did every day we did something uh, to get better. So uh, that really has paid off uh, coming into the season. One of the big emphasis this year for the Trojans, pace. You guys want to be a quick team. How has that affected what you guys did conditioning-wise, Nick? Um, with the pace, uh, the fast – Fast pace, uh, we're in better shape, and uh, I think that's that'll be a uh, strength for us this season. You know, Desmond, coach was talking about how going a little bit to a, an up-tempo offense, bringing kind of that Kenton style. I, I, watching Kenton over the last decade or so, I think one of the ways that offense really helps is the Kenton defense goes up against that offense throughout the mm -hmm. pre, throughout camp and throughout the season, and it really forces the defense to be just as quick as the offense. Oh, exactly. That's a big point. We're going to be in better shape, faster, getting to the ball and getting lined up quicker. So we'll be ready for the teams. Coming off a disappointing season, I know, 2-8, and eight, just 1-6 and six in the, the track. How much motivation is there in this Finley team to, to get back to the top of the track? Actually, there's a lot. A lot of kids. There's a lot of morale around the team. Kids are really good, positive, and everything like that. You know, Nick, was it difficult going through last season? As good as you guys were two years ago, it just came up a little bit short because of the points in, in the, to make the playoffs and, and to have type of a step back like that? Oh, yeah, it was very difficult. Uh, we all kind of took it pretty hard. Uh, we were we were hoping for the best, and as the record showed, we didn't, we didn't play to what we wanted to. So uh, this year, I think, uh, as a senior class, we have kind of put that as our goal to just play hard and do the best we can. Obviously, a younger team last year, you took your lumps. Is that going to pay off this year? Uh, I think it will. I think uh, we built a lot of depth uh, with last year and then as well this year. Uh, that's really one thing we have uh, uh, stressed. So I think that will be another strength of ours. Uh, we got a lot of depth at a lot of positions. Desmond, you open up on the road taking on Anthony Wayne, a strong program year in and year out. What do you guys need to, to accomplish between now and week one? Uh, now we need to work on flying to the ball surrounding the runner and getting to the ball. We were a little slow on that last year, and we need to work a little bit on our uh, run defense. If All we right. do that, we'll be pretty good. All right, sorry to cut you off there. Thanks, <laughs> Desmond and Nick. 
thunder in the house. We're going to take a break on this Blanchard Valley Health System warm up. When we come back, it'll be the Lightning's term here at Finley. Well, we felt the thunder, now we'll see the lightning as we welcome you back to the warm-up presented by the Blanchard Valley Health System. I'm joined now by quarterback Brandon Mule on the end and Grant Nicewander wide receiver in the middle. And obviously, Brandon, the big story for Finley, tweaking the offense, going a little bit even more up-tempo. As the quarterback, is that a big adjustment for you? Um, yes, it, it, I mean, it's adjustment for everybody, but uh, just like the reads and um, knowing where everybody is, protection, knowing blitzes, knowing, I mean, all that is, I mean, I, I need to figure that out quicker. I need to, I mean, the signals are coming in, so, I mean, it's just quicker for everybody. It's, I mean, it's fast tempo, so. Grant, this offense has kind of been described as a, a wide receiver's dream because the idea is you get five guys out there and DBs aren't going to be able to keep you covered, all those guys covered for the entire length of the play. Are the receivers enjoying this new offense? Uh, yes, sir. The, the receivers really enjoy it. Uh, we get a lot of open looks. We get a lot of one-on-ones. Uh, Coach Best has uh, taught us to read the defense if they're in man, zone, help Brandon out a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of screen plays that we go through. It just helps us like open up the run game, and then we go deep and kill them deep. So, Grant, we know the conditioning is a major part of this offense and the defense as well, because for a lot of different reasons. What was the conditioning program this off season? How much more intense was it than in years past? Um, I say with a lot, lot more intense uh, because of the up tempo. We we need to get in shape. Uh, we run after practice, but I mean, we run all day during practice because of the up-tempo, so we're always moving, and the coaches understand that, so I think all of us are pretty good in shape right now, but we still got to keep pushing. Brandon, how's your offensive line looking? Um, it's looking a lot better. Like, we have some juniors and, and even a sophomore that uh, has stepped in uh, and taken the role and put it under their belt, and just, I mean, they've really toughened up and we've worked hard in the weight room. I mean, just off season has just been remarkable compared to past years. And I mean, the whole offense is looking just so much better. Disappointing season last year. I think in the preseason poll, you guys weren't picked very high in the track. Do you think this is going to be a year maybe you can sneak up on people and surprise some people? Yeah, I think we do. And honestly, I mean, that's fine that the coaches pick that. I mean, that's fine. We we take it as motivation. I mean, we're we're really mad that it's like that, but I mean, we're we're perfectly fine with it because that's just that's just we want motivation and just we get really mad at that. So, it's really going to push us and get us working harder. Grant week 1 at Anthony Wayne home for Grove City and then back up to the Toledo area take on Sylvania Southview. <laughs> Then you get in the track play. What games are you looking forward to this year? Um, I'm really looking forward to the Lima and Fremont Ross game because Lima last year I think we should have beat. I honestly look forward to like all the track games because we were in, in every single game. We just didn't really finish last year. Fremont Ross is our rival, so we always try to go for them too. So, All right, the Finley Trojans looking out to take care of business in the track. That's going to do it for us today on the warm-up presented by the Blanchard Valley Health System. For Matt Finkel and all our guests from the Finley High Trojans, we'll see you next time on WOSN.